I dem a hype and dem a ma still a walk. Mama, 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 mama Rosie, money soon be spam. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Mama Rosie, money soon be spam. You know what I'm talking about? Abama, number one, send catching artist. And Maggie, big respect to Abama, send catching artist. We not sell out to Abama. Get something on my car. Original Linstead Market, and this is one of the places where we grow, we run up and down in the market, and most of the things are me set, my expression, them come through them places. So, our music is real, you know, it's not no makeup. So, everything what we say, everything what we do is connected to where we come from. Every time when you hear me sing, every time when you hear me prof, see my prof, um, is a part of Linstead. So, my look up in the air and them can't see him, judge at the right side of it. The foundation of my music is really built on, you know, the authentic part of our Jamaican culture. I some more your eye for not lost and then mother still a walk and then in a half of them mother in a half. But only Asian Mr. Dem never said not sex now a smiley face now a walk. My music has come through the street so most of the things that me say is when I sit in at the road. So when you give me a rhythm, I just vice, you know, because I really want to go out there, I'm hungry for music too, you know, and after a while you get to understand the music, you know, and the importance of holding back and the importance of just recording, but I always said this, me as an artist, you know, music is what me do. So I think the more me record, the more me make music, is the more, you know, me can really get people to buy this, you know, so, you know, we don't short change the people, eh? we don't short change our fans. You know, when they come out to music, we just give them music because we have so much things to say. All right, so one of our new artists, them, eh? This is one of our new artists, them. What goes around comes back around. Can't take the ghetto people, them feel no clown. Fight against the reggae music, I lock up the sound. Make we can go party, can boogie, boom. I've always had the people, them, you know, and you know where we are come from, and the pitch that, you know, where you know some of our artists before with a show, you know, to the people, them, you know, and it shows, say, uh, all right, you know, you can drive a nice car from just singing, you know, you can have a big house from just singing. So I think some people adapt to it as a way to survive, which is not even a bad thing because it's art. And I think you're supposed to be compensated for your artistry. Look right or something. Yeah. yeah. So we don't live the buried. It's my style, so we keep it real. You know, it depends on where you really want from it, you know. I don't do anything else, you know, I do music, so I depend on music to really feed my family, to feed everybody around me, you know, my community, support my community. This is how we can bring back to my community, you know. So it's art, you know, it's an expression. But we still don't want to divert, you know, from the prime importance, you know, which is to really give the people an understanding of my life and how I live and the importance of living the way I live. We need the people because it's through the people who, why we have all of this what we have. As an artist, you know, we come from the street. One of the artists helped introduce me to the music and introduce me to producers. You know, was Jigsy King. You know, Jigsy King is a dancehall artist. So our music come right through the street. You know, we never have a specific studio. We never have, you know, specific people around. We're separate and apart from him, who we could have really cling to for really, like, get a chance to go into the studio. For me personally, me make music. If them understand it, if my brethren them understand it, then it's right for the road. We just have to sing about the tree, and we just have to sing about the bird them. We are trying to make it on a level where everybody can really relate to it. When all of this happened, you know, it, it really, we really couldn't put a timeline to it, you know, because, you know, it just come out of me. Like early part of high school, you know, we used to just more focus, you know, upon academics and more into, to sports, you know, like playing football and so forth, you know, but as we go through the transition, as we go through school, you know, we realize, uh, you know, there's so much more, you know, to life and there's so much more to education, you know, more than what we were taught. For me, how it started really was really through food. I eat food around them Rasta people. Yeah, I find the interest, me, me, me find an interest in a, in, a, in a natural food. Yes, natural spice, you know. 
collaborating with Diamond Socks, okay. Wallaby Clarks. Natural spice, natural spice, natural spice. Where everything smooth and nice. Some of our consciousness come through food, you know? Because it was more for, for the food. And then we get introduced to you know, Rasta. We try to find healthy food and find, you know, a consciousness, you know, through that, you know. So, you know, for some people, some people search for it, you know, we never necessarily search for it. You know, it's something where it, it, it really comes on to it, you know, as we find ourselves within that circle there. But herbal food, herbal food is, is so, you know, delicious that it, it easy to get somebody to transition, you know, to, to be vegetarian, you know, just by tasting its food, you know. You know, you just feel like you're not missing out on anything. <laughs> Max Roman teach me, say you only need one song. You know, you only need one song and, you know, once, you know, once you make that connection, you know, with your audience with that one song, then, you know, you create a fan base. You know, and then people want to listen to more of your house. You know, but there's always one song that will that will make people gravitate to your music and gravitate to your work. Me grew up in a yard where my my yard was like an HQ. So, like most of the people in my community, them come and them all have vibes at my grandfather's yard. So, you have some elder who just wear a shirt, mesh marina, and them don't walk without them diamond socks and them clocks. And you know you have something named turling and wool, you know and you have something named lens pants. So, so me observe them people and my grandfather them have a strong connection with England. So the only thing them wear is clocks. So me always observe my grandfather and my father and how them put themselves together. This is the kind of way them dress. So it was easy for me, like when me go into the studio and Unga play this rhythm and him say, you know we have the rhythm here. Yeah? and we have a, a different artist for vice on the rhythm. And when we hear it, we say, all right, give me a track. And like, it was like one tech, you know, from the, from, it was more, like some people call it freestyle. It's more like a one tech. You know, we just start to some things. That is not even nothing. It's what that. Old fashioned fashioned them call me. I put me in a Jaja army. In a me diamond socks and me wallaby. And then everything just start come after that, you know. And that's how music supposed to be. When Hunger, when Hunger called me, I was on tour, Hunger called me and said, Taurus Riley? I'm going to say, yes, remix, ready. You know, because I think, you know, you know, I grew up on Taurus music too, you know. Introducing my brethren, my brother from another brother. At the time, you know, me, me, me side, the importance of getting Taurus Riley on that track specifically because, you know, he would understand more about the Jordan and the Clarks and, and, you know, and so forth, you know. So, you know, when him come and say, when him come and say, what me gonna do? But my shirt color, left the rest, bang. Me know, say, him know exactly where my deal with, you know. So when him tweak the Jordan and thing and, and, and so forth, and it, 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 was so, it was so nice, you know. And, you know, me salute Taurus Riley, you know, like over and over again, because we know what the music is about and then we understand how we can share audience to, you know? And we don't want to leave that out because then people start tapping into my music even more. And then, you know, people who love me, you know, still try to connect with Taurus Riley. So, 
you know, it, it was really like, you know, like 100% love. There's so much artists that give me inspiration. There's so much artists that I look to, you know, for inspiration, even as would I call them now, some of my peers, you know. I me, me really appreciate their music. I listen to them and listen to what they say. You know, as I said before, music is not just about performing and it's not just about singing. It is also about sharing some sort of experience, you know, sharing some sort of philosophy, like what I say. You know, our inspiration comes through, you know, Rastafari, you know, the teachings of Ayla Selassie, you know, Marcus Gave, and, you know, that is the meditation, that is the movement, you know, through which we live, you know, so everything that we do and say, you know, would have to be a living example, you know, to that, you know, so, you know, when we go up on the microphone and we decide to make a song, you know, it would have to reflect our life, it have to reflect our upbringing, you know, where we are come from and, you know, the philosophies and opinions that we stick to, you know, so commercial it might become, yes, you know, because then people feed into the music and, you know, we make it available for people so they can buy it, you know, on, on a larger scale, you know, but, you know, the, the, the prime importance is to really educate people, is to really get them to understand our philosophy, you know, our opinion, you know, and, and how to live, you know, or how we decide to live. And if it seems attractive to one, then, you know, you can just take on to it because, you know, me try it is just like a medicine, you know. You know, me try it for myself and it work, and, you know, this is what me, you know, recommend for the eye.